Hi my lovely viewers, thank you for coming back to my channel again. Uh, if you are new to this channel, feel most welcome, this is the right place to be. Uh, meeting the like mom here, Deborah Yanchuka is my name. I created this channel to give my viewers hope and I encourage you to be optimistic. No situation is permanent. Once you choose to work with God, everything is possible. So uh, today uh, we are going to share about... Uh, how the rich man regretted that is our topic but before that let's pray father in the name of jesus we thank you for the gifts of life we ask you to bless our sharing in jesus name we pray and believe amen so our topic is about how the rich man regretted and it's a it comes from the book of luke chapter 16 verse 19 to 36 oh, this is the story of the rich man and lazarus so I will read uh, from my good news version very fast. There was once a rich man who dressed in the most expensive clothes and lived in a great luxury every day. There was also a poor man named Lazarus covered with sauce who used to be brought to the rich man's door, hoping to eat the bits of the food that fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs could come and lick his sauce. Then the poor man died and was carried by the angels to sit beside Abraham at the feast in heaven. The rich man died and was buried. And in health, where he was in great pain, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus at his side. So he called out, Father Abraham, take pity on me and send Lazarus to dip his finger in some water and cool my tongue, because I'm in great pain in this fire. But Abraham uh, said, Remember, my son, that in your lifetime you were given all good things, while Lazarus got all the bad things, but now he is enjoying himself here while you are in pain. Besides all that, there is a deep pit lying between us, that those who want to cross over from here you cannot do so, nor can anyone cross over us from where we are. The rich man said, Then I beg you, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to my father's house, where I have five brothers. Let them go and warn them, so that they at least will not come to this place of pain. Abraham said, Your brothers have Moses and the prophets to warn them. Your brother should listen to what they say. The rich man answered, That is not enough, Father Abraham. But if someone were to rise from death and go to them, and, and then they would turn from their sins. But Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone were to rise from death. This is the story of the rich man and Lazarus. We want to relate it to our living. In this life we are living, we have two uh, different types of people. We have the rich man and the Lazarus. We have many Lazarus, we have many rich men here. So, uh, you can you can have, uh, yeah, you can, it doesn't mean that when you are rich is when you have uh, maybe have money, material things. No, it doesn't mean like that. If you can help uh, an, an old granny to cross a bridge, you are rich already. If you can help a blind person to cross a, a, the road, you are rich. When you are rich, it means that you have the heart of giving a helping hand. Even if you have nothing, but if you can do something that will help somebody, you are already rich and you are blessed if you have that heart of helping. So this man, Lazarus, uh, could be brought here to the dog, this uh, rich man. Maybe he had hopes that one day this man will sympathize with him maybe take him to hospital, maybe buy him medication. He had that great hope that this is where I can get help. This man did not give uh, Lazarus even food. Imagine Lazarus could feed from what uh, had fallen from the table. He could share with the dogs. Even the dogs could lick him. But this rich man didn't care. He didn't know that one day... Uh, uh, things will change. So
company was a big band in hell that is when he saw Lazarus and Abraham having good time and that is when he regretted that maybe uh, I wish I could I wish I knew but father Abraham please send somebody to go and warn my brothers so that they should not so that they will not go through the pain I'm undergoing right now that is Abraham told him no if they will not listen to Moses or the prophets then even if somebody comes from death they could not listen so here we are encouraged that uh, we are being warned yeah this is a warning that in case you are able God has blessed you with something help that poor uh, person next to you somebody you might find you have a relative yes your relative maybe is just a graduate and has come for your house maybe uh, that person has hopes in you that you're gonna help him or a secure job then you will just look that person uh, inside your house you just ignore that person the way the rich man ignored Lazarus and you, you, you end up not helping that person. Maybe that person has great hopes that if I go to this fa uh, uncle of mine, if I go to this brother of mine, if I go to this aunt of mine, they are able, they can help me secure a job. But you ignore them. At the end of the day, they remain jobless. But one day, when God decides to change their position, God is very good when it comes to switching people positions. You will be you will, that person will be raised up maybe will secure a good job than you 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 will lose yours maybe your kids may also need the help of that person later and now when you, that is when you regret like this rich man what what happened i wish i knew i could have helped this lady i wish i knew i could have helped this gentleman but you find that it's too late maybe i uh, yeah uh, you might have a needy case, somebody very needy, maybe uh, they are facing a challenge, maybe sickness, and they have hopes that if I go to some so and so, he is going to help us, or she is going to help us at least, we can be able to pay our medical bills, but when they come to you, you just ignore them, you just assume like the rich man used to ignore Lazarus. Lazarus had hopes that this man, even if he can't take me to hospital, maybe he can give me food. But it didn't happen. He didn't even give him food. He was just feeding on what had fallen on the floor. Maybe he can take me to hospital. Nothing happened. Is there a Lazarus in your neighborhood who needs your help, genuine case? If you are hearing this message, this message is yours. Just give a hand of help because you are going to be blessed more. But if you if you ignore somebody who is in need, you are going to cry like the rich man. It's good that Abraham told them, now if they do not listen to Moses or prophets, then it means even if somebody uh, rises from death, they won't listen. So, my friend, wherever you are, if you are hearing this message and you have a needy case that needs your help, please stretch your hand, give offer help, offer help. And then, if we are, uh, uh, sometimes also we need to work hard because uh, when, you are, when you don't have and you keep begging maybe or you need some people's help, you will make them get tired. You also need to work. If you are not physically challenged in any way, just to try to work in order to, to to at least pay your bills and God will add you where uh, when the need arises. Don't just sit down and wait to be helped because nobody is poor. So long as you are physically fit, uh, just thank God and do something that can put a smile on your face and your family so in case you God has pleased you please offer help to where need uh, arises and you will be blessed more thank you for uh, listening to this sharing if you like it thumbs up uh, 
you can also share you can subscribe to this channel for more sharing and may god bless you so much see you next time bye